Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video, video clip explain, explains extrapolating, which is predicting data that is not yet collected based on past data. We'll use Excel. So if we look at the rent, uh, the median rent from the last eight years, we can make a graph of that. So if I select those, insert, let's make a scatter chart. We're not going to connect the points. Now if I double click on those points, right button, add trend line. So it tries to fit a linear curve to that and that is probably our, our first option, our best option there. Go ahead and make these things a little bigger so you can see. So the round dots are the data that we looked up on the internet. The square dots are is a line trying to fit that data. Now if I continue this pattern on up to, I don't know, say 2020 or so, then when we click on this chart we can see well let's expand this grab that corner there stretch it up and so it's going to go ahead and extend that um, fit that line fit beyond clear up to 2020 now the scale changed so let's change it back if I double click on there Let's try it again. Double click on the data. There we go. So instead of starting at zero and going to a thousand, let's start at, well, 750. We can still go to a thousand, I guess. But you can see that at 2020, it's going to be, it's going to cost about $950 if that line predicts the future. And that's, there's no guarantee, but that's just our best guess. So that would be a linear fit. Let's do an exponential fit. So I'll copy this data, go to a new chart, paste the numbers, make it large so you can see it, and then if I select those right there, insert, scatter chart, okay, and then if I double click on the points, right button, add trend line, now instead of leaving it the default of linear, I'm going to change that to exponential. With this little blip in the middle, it may be better to leave it as linear, but if that were not there, you would probably guess that things are going to be exponential. They'll increase by the same percentage each year, not by the same amount. But um, we'll go ahead and, and get an equation for that. Um, and then we'll click on that chart, make things bigger so you can see a little better. Okay, so it's bigger so you can see it. Now if I extend, while with the chart selected, I can grab the corner, extend that up to 2020. Then I need to fix the, fix the uh, scale. So it says, well, let's start at zero. I'm, just, I'm saying, well, let's start at 750. And we don't need to go beyond 1,000. So there, now with that little bit of a curve into it, it goes a little bit over 950. It's more like 960. But in this case, an exponential and a linear are not much different. And maybe for a few years, they're not going to be different anyways, even if, it, even if there were not that blip in the middle there. So anyways, go ahead and make those charts. Um, and then print them out and hand them in with your name on them.